Good evening, brothers and sisters. Today we celebrate the feast of the most holy body and blood of Christ, which is also known in Latin as Corpus Christi, or the body of Christ. And this is an important feast because for us as Catholics, this is the source and summit of our faith. In this sequence today, we hear that beneath these signs are hidden priceless things to sense forbidden. It is this precious gift that has been given to us, which we hold in the faith. Which at times, in particular in our world today, we have forgotten the sense of mystery. And it is this Eucharist that is a constant reminder for us and points us to something beyond ourselves, beyond this world. And it helps us enter into a heavenly realm. In the gospel today, we hear that Jesus asked his disciples to prepare a room for him to celebrate the Passover. And it is in this room that he is going to institute the Eucharist and also the priesthood. Jesus Christ invites us in our time now to celebrate and take part in that heavenly banquet. He presents to us His body and blood. He has become that perfect Lamb that was sacrificed for our salvation. The institution of the Eucharist is a reminder of the love that God has for all of us. That Jesus Christ is in our midst. When the priest invokes and calls the Holy Spirit upon the gifts, they are no longer just bread and wine, but it becomes a full presence of Jesus Christ his body, blood, soul, and divinity made present to us. Christ has made this new covenant with his own blood. The Eucharist makes us participants of the life of Christ. It is through the Eucharist that we are able to participate not only in the death, but also in the resurrection. The Eucharist has a sacrificial element to it, and it is essential in our Christian faith. It was not, it was this act on the cross that was done for us once and for all that we continue to commemorate at every Mass. Through the celebration of His precious body and blood, we are reminded of the deepest and most profound expression of love that Jesus Christ did for us on this on Calvary. The celebration is not just to remember what happened 2,000 years ago, but to make it present to us now. The Eucharist is a reminder for us that Christ continues to walk with us on our journey in the midst of our sufferings, in the midst of a broken world. Maybe somebody who has lost their job and is having a difficult time providing for their family. Or maybe somebody who at school is maybe getting bullied and finds himself in isolation or maybe somebody else who has come out of the doctor's office who has found out that they have been diagnosed with cancer or another form of illness. It is through our sufferings that we continue to conjoin ourselves into the body of Christ 
through the Eucharist. It continues to remind us that Christ is with us and that Christ has not left us alone. It helps us to continue to bear our crosses because Christ himself has bore his cross. The journey is long, and it is important to continue to be fed until we reach our destination. By placing our gaze on the Eucharist, we're reminded that Christ walks with us in our struggles and our challenges. It reminds us that He knows what we're going through. In receiving the Eucharist, we are transformed into the image of Christ. And we are participants of His life. The Eucharist continues to strengthen us for the challenges of this life. It continues to challenge us in giving more of ourselves in the same way that Christ gives himself at every Mass. Christ has given everyone an invitation to the heavenly banquet. Let us not be afraid to approach this heavenly banquet because we have, Christ has given us a seat of honor in this banquet. Amen.